How's it going, everyone? Brother Dave here from Rod of Iron coming at you. Just a quick little video here. Um, I've just been... Sorry if I sound a little lackadaisical tonight, like I'm kind of low on energy. Uh, my father just passed away, and uh, so I've just kind of been... I'm up north right now, sort of firing on all cylinders, trying to get his estate in order and whatnot. And uh, I I guess a little bit of a blessing in disguise would be, and, and this sort of ties into the video here today, would be that uh, I, I, I almost forgot that June was uh, Sodomite Pride Month. <laughs> you know, I've gotten to the point where I'm like, and this is sort of a good thing and a bad thing where, I'm sort of desensitized to it in a sense, like, you know, you see the rainbow and you're, you're just kind of like, whatever, you know, yeah, it means faggotry, okay, <laughs> but, um, uh, so with, with that being said, uh, that, that's going to segue into what I want to say here, um, I just heard about, uh, a brother in Christ down at, uh, at Steadfast Baptist Church in, I think they were in Fort Worth, and they moved to Hearst, and they're, they're someplace else now in that area, I think. Um, but uh, Brother Dylan Oz, uh, I do not know Brother Dylan personally, but I I think we might have mutual friends or acquaintances, or uh, I think I've known people who've known people who've known him or whatever, but... Um, I guess he just preached this really awesome sermon against the sodomites. And um, I have not yet gotten the chance to listen to the whole thing. Uh, it's probably been taken down by now off of YouTube. But um, I, I did get to hear a few of the, uh, the sound bites uh, from the media. Because I guess Billy Dillon... Uh, uh, this this made it all the way to the mainstream media. Now, I've made the media before for preaching similar stuff a few years back on one of my other accounts, but, I mean, never to that level. I mean, uh, I guess he was on uh, the Young Turks, which I'm a little jealous that he got to trigger uh, old, old Chenk Uger, that fat, reprobate, piece of crap, and he basically, uh, old, old Chank, old Chunk Uger was there, and he was basically just bitching about, you know, how he hates the Bible, and how, you know, uh, it's really the lack of self-awareness with these reps, man, these reprobates, it just, it never ceases to amaze me, because, they talk about how all hatred is wrong and how, uh, in in their view, that's the case. But they're actually the most hateful people on the planet. They hate conservatives. They hate Christians. They hate pretty much anything that's that's good. They hate anything that's not far left and communist. They hate so, you know, self aware much. But I guess he made it onto several uh, mainstream news outlets. So uh, good on you, Dylan. That, uh, I, like I said, I didn't get a chance to listen to the whole thing, but uh, what I heard, I, I was really digging, you know, and, and it got me thinking, because like I said, you know, as the years progress, we can become, as God's people even, sort of desensitized to this and what's going on around us. And, you know, I've been hearing all this stuff about, you know, the drag queens and the, the all this pedophilia that they want to, that the left now and the, the homosexuals, sodomites that they want to push, and they're very open about it. Because I remember six, seven years ago, whatever, everyone was like, oh, well, they just want to get married, you know. And back then, even, I was saying, no, man, that's it's not going to stop there. It's not going to stop there because 
you know, I'd been reading the Bible, and I knew what the Bible said, that these people were implacable, that um, they're a bunch of predators, that they're haters of God, and basically that they just love going after strange flesh and corrupting and defiling. I mean, that's the kind of people they are, according to the Word of God. So at the time, it was like, oh, they just want to get married. What's wrong with that? And I just said, you know, no, like, I'm, I'm going to believe the Bible. I know what the Bible says. And sure enough, all these years later, the Bible turns out to be right. The Bible's the Word of God. What a shock. The Bible's correct yet again. These people are predators. And now it's gotten to the point to where they are openly, I mean, look, they cannot promote their movement, their, you know, gay rights movement or whatever, without involving children. I mean, they're always trying to involve children and bring children to their, to their, uh, uh, demonstrations where they disrobe and, and defecate in public and all this, all this filth, all this degeneracy. They want to subject children to that. Now we're starting to see who they really are. Okay. The whole narrative that oh, they're just lovey-dovey and they just want to get married and, you know, not be persecuted or whatever. Look, first of all, you know, like Brother Dylan was saying, they should be put to death. I mean, I preached a whole sermon on this last year. Uh, it's on my channel here. Uh, it's called It's Not Adam and Steve. It's Leviticus 2013. Listen to that sermon, and that, that sermon, I, I get a little more into it. But now I'm just kind of, this is just kind of a, unscripted, you know, not a lot of preparation into this. But anyway, you know, the Bible says that for a reason, okay? God put the death penalty on that. He made that a capital crime for a reason, okay? It's because these people are predators, okay? It's that simple. And it's because of that fact that even in early America, this, this once great nation that was uh, indisputably founded in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that was the law, okay, for many, many years. Oh, almost 200 years or more. That was it. It was a capital crime. Sodomy was. And then the synagogue of Satan got it changed. Now, and and I just want to say that uh, that movie that Steadfast did, The Sodomite Deception, excellent film. Um, I think it could have gone a little further, though, into just how the synagogue of Satan, the, the fake Jews, got, they were instrumental in bringing that into our nation and into the world. Uh and, and really pushing for that. And so I love the film, The Sodomite Deception, as far as it went. I felt like it could have gone a little further, but I mean, either way, it's a solid A-plus picture. I can't give it any less than that. Um, but like I was saying, that was the law. I mean, in, in early America... It was just based, it was, our laws were just based on the Bible. So the homos were executed. Then the synagogue of Satan started creeping in about uh, early 1800s, late, late 1700s, early 1800s is when the first of them started really coming over here. And then they got it changed. They got it uh, uh, down to 20 years in prison. Then, then it became 10 years, then five years, then one year, then completely legal, then preferred. And let me tell you, the pastors of this nation, especially the preachers, 
need to take a hard stand on this. We They cannot be swayed by the culture and by the media and so forth because that's how we lost that's how we got to where we are okay and to where the sodomites are literally demanding that we give them our children it'll be a cold day in hell before I let my child near any one of these freaks, now that they've completely shown their shown themselves who they are, and that the Bible is just right yet again, Romans one is true, you know, and and you know I'm seeing a lot of weak sissy professing Christians. Some of them aren't actually saved. They're, they're not even Christian. But some of them ostensibly are, or at least purport to be. And they're all like, well, Jesus is all sweetness and light and all this, you know, liberal BS. It's like, no, you need to, you need to read the Bible. The Bible tells us who these people are. Who the Sodomites are. What they're like. Read Romans 1. Implacable, unmerciful, haters of God. Worthy of death, the Bible says. And listen to my earlier sermon, the Adam and Steve one, um, and that'll explain, you know, how they got that way, the reprobate doctrine and all that. But in conclusion... God bless uh, Brother Dylan and, and Steadfast, and uh, we'll be praying for you. Godspeed.